Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to tell you how to fix Adobe Genuine Service Alert on your MacBook. Now, if you have ever used a software of Adobe, which includes Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, any software that you have used, either you have bought it from their website or you have downloaded a crack, and if you uninstall it or if you're still using it, if you ever get a message like this, let me just show you this message. Or if you get a message similar to that regarding uh, Adobe and uh, the software that you use, then I know how to fix this problem. I know how to let this message go away from your MacBook forever. If you follow the steps that I tell you, you're not going to get this message ever again from Adobe. So I used to have a similar problem and now I have fixed it. And I'm going to tell you how I have done it. Uh, because now I don't get messages like these whenever I turn on my MacBook. Usually you get this message when you turn on your MacBook for the first time or if you're using the app of Adobe that you have downloaded on your Mac. Uh, so now I don't get any message like that. So now I'm going to tell you how you can get rid of the message like I did. So the first thing that you need to do is you have to open up Finder and you have to go to your Macintosh HD folder. Uh, let me just uh, show you how to do it. You can click Macintosh HD right here. Uh, it's actually the hard drive that you have on your MacBook. And once when you're here, you have to go here to library and then application support. Uh, you can go to application support directly from here. Go to folder and then you can go to application support or you can go to application support like this from the way I have told you. Now, if you go here, it will tell all the applications that you have that you use and I am going to go here to Adobe and you have to go here as well. Now, if you come here, if you come into this folder, you can see that there are a lot of folders that you do not need uh, that are unnecessary. And because of these unnecessary or extra folders, you're getting these messages. So what do you have to do? You have to check every folder and then you have to make sure that the important files that you need, you have to keep it as it is. Uh, but if there is uh, any file that you don't need, then you have to delete it. Once when you've sorted out any files that you need, like if you have any uh, work files uh, or any uh, media files that you need to save, you can change its location or you can just keep it right there. And then you're going to delete all the unnecessary things uh, that you do not need. And once when you have deleted it, the next thing that you have to do is you have to empty the recycle bin. So once when you have deleted all these and you have emptied your recycle bin, I'm sure you're not going to get the problem ever again. Let me just do it for you. Let me just delete these files for you. Here you go. I have deleted every single file. And then what do you have to do? You have to empty your recycle bin. And once when you do it, I am pretty sure your problem will be sorted out and you'll be good to go. So that was it. I hope this video was helpful. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.